Hey guys, welcome back. Following my last community post on Aume's giveaway, today we're gonna be focusing on some backups. So let me open up Aume backup real quick. And today we're gonna talk about how to back up your OS to a NAS, to a network attached storage device. Come on, load, load. Okay, as you can see, I have my backup right here. I'm just gonna delete it real quick because I don't want it here. I want to start from scratch with you guys. All right, so under the backup pane, you are gonna see a system backup as we did before. I believe I demonstrated this before, but not with a NAS. So today we are gonna do it with NAS. We are gonna focus mainly on how to add a share or NAS device. So for name, let's just name it real quick. And then for some options, so you got backup mode, you can choose intelligent sector backup, which is recommended, or make an exact backup. The difference between these is basically an exact backup is gonna specify however much free space you have on your disk. Whereas intelligent sector backup is basically only gonna include how much space you have used up on your disk in your backup image and you got backup service over here i'm not going to change anything you can also give commands pre-command and post command both being text commands you can select the compression level whether you want to split the image the operation priority and whether you want to automatically create a folder with the same name as a task in my case os backup you can also choose to save those settings the configuration you've just done to your global so that every time you go to create a backup it will show up exactly as you configured right here and now since i didn't configure anything i'm gonna click cancel and let's schedule the backup i want my backup to run monthly at let's say 8 p.m on the first monday of each month sure Let's go. And here we have our main thing. We want to add a share or NAS device. So for my NAS device, since I've already connected it in my file explorer, we are going to take a look here. It's OS backup. That's the folder name. And the folder name is in the subdirectory of the NAS folder. Right. So we are going to basically for the server name, enter NAS. Here, because I've configured my server name to be NAS and I've already connected it in File Explorer, I don't have to manually enter the IP address again. But if you haven't configured it, feel free to enter the IP address and then enter a slash for your share name. So share name here is going to be OS Backup. Here we go. And after entering that, we want to click the little button over here. And it's going to find my server. If it found the server, and if the server has authentication, it will ask us for our username and our password. OK. And after we click OK, it's going to show basically the contents of the share. And we're gonna back up in the root directory and override this folder. So yeah, we're just gonna select the root directory. Okay. And now after we select our backup scheme, for me, it's gonna be incremental backup. And I want after every two incremental backups, perform one full backup. I also want to enable automatic cleanup. Cleanup by quantity five sets of backups and create one full backup always before doing another incremental all right and after that we are going to start our backup add the schedule and start backup now or only add the schedule in my case i'm gonna show the backup process so 
at the schedule and start backup now. Okay, now that the backup is finished, let's close this up and go to File Explorer to verify that it's actually finished. We can see the folder size, 484 gigabytes, and the name is indeed my task name, which is OS Backup. Here you see the backup image. So here we have the size, and here we have the date modified. All right, and that effectively concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.